Uh, this is going to be the first of a couple of little tutorials on some of the challenges from the downstairs spider, which is from my book Solos for the Lever, the solo, the, the lever and the Pedal Harp. So the first sort of challenge that comes in is, is in bar three, where you have this little interlocking thing, and, and the challenge is to try and avoid buzzing and hitting your, your knuckles, and so you have to do a kind of a throwing kind of a situation. So you're, you start off with everything placed in your right hand, and then you can put your thumb on, on your left hand. And then you wait for it and you put those on. And again, same thing, you just put your thumb on first and throw the other fingers on. And you can practice this over and over again until you get it. And then you can practice it as it goes. Okay, then your next thing is the harmonics. Now, the first one's an F sharp, second one's an E flat, and the next one's a D natural, and they're gonna be all in different spots because the F sharp is lower, the E flat is higher, and the D is a, a little bit in between them. So we got the F sharp here. Let's see, where'd it go? There it is. And then there's the E flat, and the D is right in between them. And I use just the, uh, the bone right there to, uh, to hit the string. Some people prefer it here or even there, uh, or even over here, but um, try finding that little bone. And then you have to find exactly the spot, a little higher here, and a little bit in the middle there. And you can practice just doing that. Okay, and that's the next thing. Uh, and then I'm skipping ahead. Uh, in bar six, you have a jump. So you have three, two, one, three, two, one again, and then you jump. Jump. But you try not to leave too much space there. The next part of this is if you're a pedal harpist, you can just use your left hand for the chords and then the right hand for the this part. But if you have a lever harp, of course, then you have to do it all in your right hand. Either way, you can't put your second finger back on for the third beat because you're going to run into that string that's still vibrating. So you have to wait for it. You put your thumb on and throw that finger. So. You see how it's not quite on yet? And that's how you get a nice smooth uh, attack in that one. Uh, the next real challenge, I think, comes from another jump, actually, or another placement that's a little different. And that is in uh, going into bar 34. So you've come from this. <laughs> sharp on. Let's see, I'm not putting my F sharp on here. I'm going to my to my thumb here, so it's like this. To the thumb, and then I come back to the F sharp. And that way, again, I'm not running into a note that I want to let ring. And that happens in another spot too, somewhere along here. Just anywhere where you want that note to ring that you just came from, you don't have to put all your fingers back on when you replace back in. Um, now, just a little uh, uh, memory aids. When you get to, um, let me see, it's bar 46 here. You'll notice it's all the same notes and it's the same notes in the left hand here too. just move everything up one note. And there's another spot where I go to my thumb, I don't put the rest of them back on. So to the thumb and then the rest of it. And then I take the bottom note there. And then you'll notice these same three notes that you just left down here are your first notes of the next bit and you just wind yourself in between. So you've got you're right, you're knitting through here. All these, these notes are right next to each other. And then these two notes stay where they are. And you do it again. And that's where you could turn your page if you want to turn your page there. Okay, and then this next little bit is, is um, it's just um, a scale up in the right hand and a little triad down here. I mean, it's not really a triad, but it feels like one. So that's the first two bars. And then you'll notice that all the changes in the right hand is your thumb comes up one. And in the left hand, it's only the middle finger that changes. And then the change here 
is just that this turns back into a triad up here, like what you had in the left hand before, and this is just... So instead of being the E and the F at the top, now it's the F and the G. And then down to the board. And then we have this little technique where you are down to the soundboard. I don't know if you can see it. I think I'll just have to play it up here so you can see it better. But you'll be down at the board and you just go. And to do this, you're just using the front of your knuckle to hit the previous note, but you're not actually coming back to that note with your pad. You're coming to the next note with the pad, but you're using the front of it to hit the note you just played. Like that. So you just, if you just think of it. So be careful not to come back to that note with your pad, because that's just going to slow you down. Or so, and it's going to be down low, but I can't get the camera down there. And then you're here. You finish that, uh, where are we? Yes, we have this. And then octave, and then here, just think down there. It's just very simple. And then here you just have... So just, the way you're gonna put this together is you just think about the first thing, and it's just E flat, D flat. And the next one is just the same middle note, so the B flat's still there, and you're just moving those notes and back again and then you just have this and then you have this little scooting thing you do to show the uh, spider escaping okay thanks